Lenin is careful, Duncan suspended from all boards. More survivors of that deadly number 19 accident calling for justice and three-year-old burn victim for overseas treatment. News in Depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News in Depth, I'm Eva Wharton. Thanks for joining us. More trouble for embattled trade unionist Carful Duncan as President David Granger, through the Constitution, suspended him from all the bodies he was appointed to. In battle, trade unionist Carville Duncan was today suspended from all duties as chairman of the Public Service Commission with immediate effect pending the outcome of proceedings of the tribunal. He was also suspended from the Judicial Service Commission, the Police Service Commission, and ex officio member of the commissions of the Board of the Ghana Defense Force. This was disclosed in a press release issued by the Ministry of the Presidency. His suspension was signed by President David Granger, who said that he was acting in accordance with Article 225.6 of the Constitution. Now, this action comes days after the start of the tribunal, and Duncan, through his lawyer Anil Nandalal, is threatening to take legal action. Duncan has always maintained that he would not resign despite mounting pressure and a court battle over an alleged fraud at the utility company GPL. In that matter, Duncan was said to have paid himself $1 million while he was a director of the board and also conspire with the deputy CEO Ashwar Dionorain who transferred some $27 million into his private account. Over the weekend, Duncan took a swipe at the president and the minister of state saying that they have offered him a financial package to resign. But the ministry of the presidency has categorically denied the assertion made by Duncan. The release did, however, acknowledge that Duncan did meet with President David Granger and Minister of State Joseph Harmon. It was at that meeting Duncan was asked to leave the office voluntarily. More news after this break. Extra beer is the beer to drink. Grab one no, no. Grab one no. Drink extra beer and come to your senses. Enjoy a great extra Pilsner beer, now available in regular and light. Taste real smooth with no hangover. It's the perfect beer, according to Drinker's Review. We drink beer in a real life. Distributed by the wholesale distributors in the stockbroke market. Telephone 683-9500. Extra beer is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. It's the perfect beer. Looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, my mama. I ain't gonna get lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't got my favorite color pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. All was lead to the Rising Sun Turf Club for Judgment Day Horse Race Meeting, Sunday, October 23rd. The event promises to be a classic with the country's best horses and jockeys on show. The feature event is a scorch and will see top E and lower horses battling for a purse of $600,000. The main supporting race is another belt and will bring together the G1 and lower horses competing for a purse of $400,000. Seven races over $5 million in cash and prices up for grabs. It's Judgment Day at the Rising Sun Turf Club, Sunday, October 23rd. Thunderbolt will provide you a musical entertainment at the track. After the races, the entertainment will move to the pool hall at number 22 Village, Hope Tongue Bobbies, with 71 songs for barbecue and lime. See you there. Sponsored by Banks. Have fun in Banks Country. Promoted by Jumbo Jet Auto Sales. Thanks for staying with us. More survivors and relatives of that deadly number 19 accident are calling for justice six years later. Two survivors of the deadly number 19 road accident, which left 13 persons dead six years ago, still remember the horrific accident like it was yesterday. Sham Jalkanot lost his wife in that accident, while Tamika Fraser lost her sister and nephew. Both are waiting to tell their story in the court with the hopes of having justice served in the matter. Came to stop. I was still in the bus, but then when I realized that it's an accident, everybody else was kind of out of the vehicle. Some were still in. I came out, went in search of my sister and nephew, and then at first I found my nephew. He was under a man, and then I realized, I didn't even know, knew he was dead, but I held him, held him in my in my hands, shaking like you know he's still alive. And then I went. Mm. Yeah. 
uh, I went and found from my sister. She was already there. The accident occurred on the 29th of October 2010 and involved a minibus and a truck. According to reports, the two vehicles collided head-on. The woman says the case has gone cold and the driver of the truck is now walking free. The mean the man kill all body, all, all body die, all um, 12 plus one um, little baby and um, I mean, the man, he got locked up for a couple of morning and he got no justice. Eyewitnesses on the scene said the driver of the truck overtook a vehicle and ended up in the path of the minibus, killing 13 persons while others were injured. I sell swaggerific, Spaniard me like staggerific. I Spaniard, when the star give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 turn up. In four delectable flavors, the new Super Premium Royal Ripple Ice Cream is smooth, unbelievably rich, and far more affordable than you think. Royal Ripple Super Premium from Sterling Products Limited. Extra energy, drink a number one. Multiply your energy to the drink one. Extra energy, drink, extra energy, drink. Extra energy has a better taste, less caffeine, less sugar, and is enriched with vitamins B6 and B12. Extra energy, drink me one You Give me the energy night I'm running. Extra energy, drink, extra energy. Visit the wholesale distributor in the Stabbrook Market or call 683-9500 to order yours today. Extra Energy Drink is also found in supermarkets and stores nationwide. Three-year-old burn victim to finally travel to the U.S. for treatment. Three-year-old Rani Manny Rogers, who was severely burned on her head and hand when a portable kerosene stove fell on her when she was just a couple months old, will finally get the help she needs in the form of reconstructive surgery. For her father, Raul Rogers, his ambition is to give his only child a normal life, a dream that finally seems near because of the United States non-governmental organization, Save Enhanced Emergency Aid, SHEA. I'm feeling great, you know, to know that dynamic pick it up with she whereby we get in the help we need my daughter finally will be getting the medical treatment that she need and knowing that she'll be having this normal life that I dream about for she to be having Today, the three-year-old is still suffering after unsuccessfully undergoing two separate skin graft surgeries. The grafted skin did not adhere and her wounds remain fresh. Her related father believes the kindness of the Shea charity will give his daughter a new lease on life. I can at least see here growing back when all this is done and over. She can run around as normal, play as normal, continue learning because she don't forget anything. She learned quick. The Shea Charity operates on public funding and every member of the organization is an unpaid volunteer. Currently, the organization has an online campaign which is expected to cover the costs of Rani and her father's travels, meals and housing and persons are being urged to make contributions there. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition.